Everybody, it's Shuflaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we got a video on the kind of what I believe to be the best abilities after this new patch that made AP go up, and also a lot of abilities had AP changes going either down or up. There's a lot of metas that are going to be changed from this video. Make sure to smash the like button. Let's go take a look at the new uh, patch notes before we head into the actual abilities. As you guys know, a couple days ago, they did tweet this out that they were going to be upping the AP to 15, one step ahead up to 6 AP, and then there's a lot of other upgrades, but if I press back here, they or I'll press it right here, look what they just tweeted today. This was not in the patch notes. They are going to be moving double or nothing now to 4 AP instead of 2 AP, pretty much making the ability non-usable, especially when it's more AP than an edge right or in other pass rushing abilities. But anyways, when we click the actual patch notes, you guys can see right here there are a lot of differences right now on offense it's not as it's not as intuitive as on defense there's only three ap differences right here you can see playmaker for a quarterback went up to 10 ap now pretty much taking over two-thirds of your ap slots that is a lot from just one ability playmaker is now six ap i believe it was four ap be before so now two ap above that just makes it i don't know i mean you could do it with the new up update but it's going to still take a lot out of you. I could still see a lot of people running Playmaker. Route Tech going 1 AP. So I think non-route runners, like, I don't know, like a Claypool who gets it for 3 AP, now 4 AP, you're never going to use it on a guy like that again. I just don't see it. Maybe, I think there's going to be a lot more route runners out there. I don't know. We'll get into the abilities once we get back over to the, back over to the actual Madden screen. But heading over to the defensive patch notes, one step ahead, now 6 AP. That is a blessing inside of Madden. Everybody hated it. It was There was nothing fun about it. There was just no skill in it. It was just not a fun ability in the game. The KOs for medium and deep route both got plus one. I just didn't see the need for that. I didn't think they were the craziest of OP. But I definitely could see it. Acrobat got plus one AP on every single archetype. I could see that because everybody uses Acrobat, but... I feel like Acrobat, just it just doesn't activate all the time as it should. I just stopped using it after seeing so many times where I could see a ball just fly right past my Acrobat's face and they just don't dive or animate for it. I don't know. But Lurker right here is coming back into factor for middle linebackers. I think with this new patch notes, they try to make middle linebackers very usable again because they don't jump themselves. So now you could have a 2 AP Lurker on a user. Hey, definitely could work, but it's plus Lurker on safeties. Don't know why they did that. Nobody used that at all. But right here, inside stuff, all these middle linebackers minus one. You can see all of these are minus one for middle linebackers. Every single one of them. That They just want linebackers to be usable. They know a lot of people are compl are complaining about it, which kind of makes sense. I mean, it's it's really was hard to use them. You can't jump. I mean, how are you going to guard in the passing game? But... Finally, they're making it a little bit more usable. We still want to see them jump to make them completely, completely dominant again like last year. But right here, Enforcer is well going down. I am going to be doing a video where I throw seven Enforcers on my team. I just want to test it out, see if I can do anything. But that is for Field General and Run Supports. That is hopefully going to be a lot of my safeties. I'm going to have to pick up some new players. But I think you'll see a little more Enforcers if we do see more like linebackers on the field. I could see a lot more Lurkers. You could do, I don't even know, 4 AP, you could have a Lurker and Enforcer in your middle linebacker. It's more of a fun. I wouldn't say it's the best thing to do, but it's definitely more fun. And then double or nothing, 4 AP. We already talked about that. They just added this today. But anyways, let's get into actual Madden. What, let me tell you what abilities I believe will be the best after these patch notes go live. Taking a look at offense, I really think that there is going to be a lot of changes. And also, I think offense is going to be a little better after this AP change. Obviously, with the one step ahead and all of the other defensive nerfs, I think this will definitely help. But one of the one of the ones that I would throw on basically every time on my linemen are edge threats. Edge protectors are going to be needed now. 100% needed. As you guys know, everybody runs it anyway. Right here, you guys can see edge protector. This is like the most needed ability. If you guys saw in the patch notes, Edge Threat Elite got minus 1 AP, making it 4 AP the same as double or nothing. I think you'll see Edge Protector on every single team now. I think it's a must now, especially that it's only 1 AP. 
canceling out a one like I mean a one to four ratio of AP. I think that is the best ability you could run right now on your offensive line. Also, right here, you can see I only had one AP left on my team before the patch. So, if you only have one AP left and you're looking for just to throw it on your offensive line, I think post-up is great here. But, if you have two AP left, I would throw it on both your guards and center your center. But, I don't know how to explain it. Centers do block or double team almost every single time. If you can afford to have it on all three of them, if you like to run the ball a lot, Post up is one of the best abilities I could show you guys right here. This is one that I you see all the time. I use it myself in my center. So anytime I run the ball or pass, the center will be double teaming every single play. So he lights up literally every single play I've played in the game. Unless it's like a five, like they're sending five in a look or something. That is the only time that they will not light up. At quarterback, I really think the best abilities in the game are still Gunslinger, Hot Row Master. But now with the AP stretch, and they did not touch Escape Artist, if we could find it out here. Um, I'm just missing. It's right here. I always forget it's a lock. I could definitely see a lot more people using Escape Artist now on top of the Hot Row Master and Gunslinger. No matter the archetype, I really could see it because you'll have a lot more pass rushing inside of this. I think a lot more people will start stacking their D-line, so escape artists might be a must at this time. And that's why I could see definitely like a Drew Brees, Tom Brady, all those quarterbacks being a little more difficult to use because the lack of speed. But Baker Mayfield, he's he's all right for me. He has decent speed. I might throw an escape artist, escape artist on him to make it more easy for me to get out that pocket. But when we're looking at wide receiver, this is the hard one. Like I said earlier in the video, for a guy that's not a route runner, route tech will be 4 AP. Is that worth it to you guys when there's not going to be one step ahead? I do not think so. I honestly will be taking this off of my Randy Moss. I just don't, there's no reason for me to have it on him. If there's not going to be one steps out here, there are no reason I should ever touch that ability on him. So abilities I am looking at are basically like, I don't even know, like the deep out elite, deep and elite, depending on how that wide receiver plays for you. I would go deep and elite for my Randy Moss because he lends a lot of post routes. So that is a great ability for one AP there. I used to use that before I switched to route tech for the one step meta, but that is a great ability you could use there. I would not, I mean, human joystick you could use, but obviously not on like a Randy Moss, but human joystick will always be a glitchy ability. I wouldn't use it on next gen, but on current gen, human joystick is a very good ability to throw on like a, I don't know if Tyreek gets it, but I know Dre Archer gets it. Dre Archer is a really good player to get it. Matchup Nightmare, if you have a slot wide receiver, if you're throwing a guy in the slot, I think Matchup Nightmare could be good, but it's just really hard with wide receiver. I don't think there's any overly dominant abilities right now. I mean, literally, literally, I just don't see anything because Route Tech was really the only ability. I could see deep in Elite, deep out Elite, depending. You could do mid in Elite and mid out Elite. Those are two AP instead of one. I just don't see those getting activated all the time as deep out elite and deep in elite. I have literally caught over people with T.Y. Hilton when I used to run these. This ability is very glitchy if you can get it to activate. Another important position on offense is obviously the running back. What abilities would I throw on running back? Although they did not change anything, I think you could start seeing a lot more 1 AP running back abilities. More of like right here. Or not Bruiser, where is it right here? I'm trying to find it. I'm not the best with running backs. Bulldozer right here on power backs. One AP. I could definitely start seeing people throwing more AP on their running back now. You see a lot of running backs that literally have no abilities on them. It's because you just didn't need them if you had Hot Run Master. Or if you're using like a Kamara or anybody that's not a power back. You just don't need abilities on them. But I could see a lot more Bulldozers. I could definitely see a lot more Jukeboxes on elusive type running backs. Because you just have that extra spare AP to spend on your team there really was not that many nerfs besides route technician to offense so really the only thing you're going to be changing are your wide receiver abilities you don't really need that route tech anymore because man defense is not OP anymore where you're going to need it on every single receiver as you guys can see right here I've been toying around I'm all over the place with my AP but I really think deep in elite and deep out elite is the best for wide receiver 1 AP to 2 AP on a running back is the most you need on him I would not stack it up there and then 100%, this game is unplayable without Gunslinger. You need Gunslinger right now. And then the last position on offense is a pretty big one as well. A lot of people throw to their tight end. I've been testing around with Matchup Nightmare, and honestly, I love it. I love it. You would think when it says linebackers that sub-linebackers wouldn't count, but it does give you better route running versus sub-linebackers. So if they're ever matched up against them, they're basically going to destroy them. So sub-linebacker, like, 
Isaiah Simmons, anybody. They're always guarding the tight end. So he's always at a positive when guarding them. He, he'll moss them for you. He activates on every catch, every route ran. I love it. I love having this ability on my team. I just started using it recently, and it's a sleeper ability. I think a lot of people need to start using this on their tight ends. Only 2 AP. I don't know if a possession tight end changes that, but 2 AP on a vertical threat is still very solid. But anyways, let's move on to defense. That is the most important part of this video. Let's get right onto it. Right into it, my fault. And let's see what abilities I believe are going to be the best after this patch. Looking at defense right here, let's start off with the cornerbacks, one of the most important positions. A lot of people, as you guys know, one step ahead, one to six AP, pretty much making it unusable at this time in the game. But a lot of people are speculating that bench press will come back into meta, as you guys saw at the beginning of the year. I really thought this ability was a little too OP and kind of, it just doesn't make sense at all. They said they nerfed it. It was never nerfed. All it really did was make the AP higher, but... 3 AP now, you can really throw it on all three of your corners and make hell for the opponent on offense, making them have to use all four or five of the receivers and basically run the ball a lot. That's really what it's going to do. Bench press is a horrible ability to play against, but if you want a good defense, I really could see bench press is going to be a good ability to play with. Acrobat at 2 AP for corners, it's still very usable. I just don't know why you would spend 2 AP on it, though, for ability that will not activate every time my myself I will be moving away from acrobat sadly it is the end of the line for me I just don't think it's as good anymore 2 AP for an ability that does not work 100% of the time but another ability right here mid zone KO was not touched I think mid zone KO is going to be the most popular ability on defense now you could see up to I think it's 1 AP on zone type corner or safeties so I, you could see up to like six or seven of these on a defense at a time. You could literally send three and then have six of these in the coverage. I think mid zone KO is going to be super popular. You're going to see it a lot in this game. A lot of zone abilities, but I think mid zone KO activates on deep routes and even short routes. I think this is the best ability in the game right now on defense. Also, as you guys know, Field General did go down in AP on Enforcer and on Lurker. So you can see right here enforcer for a 1 AP so you have a 3 AP Sam Mills that is going to be very oh it's 2 AP Sam Mills will be 2 AP with enforcer and lurker I I didn't even know that linebackers are very usable now I'm pretty sh I have no clue what that new um Jalen Smith got as his archetype but hey I'm not even gonna lie I'm not even gonna lie this is like something that I just found out I thought it was two and two but one in one makes these very usable. I'm not even going to lie. It's like you do have to use Lurker to put them on the field. But then that also gives you the chance to use Enforcer. So you could have plenty of Enforcers on the field. Making it a very, hopefully a good ability. If you can land every single hit stick. Maybe throw a Deflator. As you guys know, this is an ability that will make the player you hit stick tired. So if you keep on hit sticking them, you stack up a linebacker. You keep hit them, a lot of fumbles can happen. One change of possession could literally win you a game. Did I say position? Uh, possession, my fault, guys. But, yeah, one possession could literally win you a game. I could see a lot of people toying around with that Enforcer and Lurker combo because they literally can get both for 2 AP. But those are two of the best abilities I could see right now happening on a linebacker. We're talking about pass rushing. I have my guy Carl Banks right here. You guys could see I have edge threat on him right here for 3 AP. But I might move over to Edge Threat Elite if I could find it. I always forget. Maybe he doesn't get it because he is a run stop. Yeah, I don't think he gets it. Let me look at my other Lawrence Taylor right here. For If it, go, if it goes for 4 AP, I, you, there's no reason you should use one step or not one step ahead. Double or nothing ever again in this patch. I think he gets it. I'm almost positive. Where is it? What does that ability look like? I always forget. Let's find it real quick. No, not Rachel Lee. Edge Threat Elite, I have no clue why I did not know that. But 4 AP compared to double or nothing for the same AP, this is going to be a lot better ability. I don't know how much better it is than actual Edge Threat, but for 1 AP more, I could see a lot of Edge Threat Elites on the field. I just think double or nothing is the most useless ability in the game right now. That is probably the worst thing you could possibly, literally possibly throw on your player right now. I just don't see why you would use this. Just... 
Just do not use it. Four AP is just not worth it at all. Minus row, throw on like a El Toro and maybe a edge threat and stack up at five AP or something crazy. Whatever you want to do to st like completely lock up that that edge threat from one side of the field. We're moving to safeties, the final position on the game. I really think mid zone KO is still going to be the best ability. I was using this because I do play on next gen. As you guys know, it is one AP on safeties i believe all safeties so right here you guys can see if you get a 90 zone and you have a safety you'll get one ap for them making them a very very solid card i swear this ability activates on almost every single throw making the reactions a lot faster that is why i love 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 the ability and i think a lot of people should be using this on their defense you're going to see a lot more zones and this will definitely help you out but when it comes to the other abilities, Enforcers 2 AP now on safeties, I could definitely see it, especially on run support safeties. They did go down to 2 AP. It's just more of, uh, uh, hey, this would actually be a good combo. Deflator's only 2 AP on a safety. You could do 2 AP, Enforcer 2 AP, Deflator, and literally throw him inside of the box. Uh, you never know. You got to test the fumbles. That's the only way you can make them happen is literally just testing them out. So if we can make it happen with Derwin and get a lot of fumbles, I think you'll see a lot of deflators, a lot of enforcers, making it kind of look like Madden 20 in the throwback vibes into the game where you saw enforcers in every single matchup. This is an early video still, so it's kind of hard to tell which abilities are going to be OP. You already know somebody's going to find something very glitchy and put it out there for everybody to play with. But anyways, this is an early best abilities, in my opinion, what I think will be the most used and also a lot of good, I don't know, like deflator and like a lot of those things I threw out there could be very good abilities to use. But I think mid zone KOs are going to be the biggest move on defense right now. And a lot of edge threat elites or edge threats are going to be huge. So I think on offense, you do need to use the edge protector. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next ability of ability i am all over the place today next video the next video will be seven seven enforcers on defense we're hoping to get enough fumbles hopefully you can fit eight on there now that i know that linebackers get one ap enforcer so if we can fit eight out there we'll do it but anyways i'll see you guys in the next video peace out boys